Hello welcome back to this channel. In this video we will create our first Android application with Kotlin using Android Studio. Before starting this tutorial, you must have Android Studio Draft 2020.3 installed on your computer. If you have older version then you must upgrade it first to the latest release. We will use Jetpack Compose which is a modern toolkit. For building native Android UI, referring to developer.android.com. Jetpack Compose simplifies and accelerates UI development on Android. With less code, powerful tools, and intuitive Kotlin apps. The demo of the application is shown. Why Kotlin? Many apps are already built with Kotlin from the hottest startups to Fortune 500 companies. Quoted from the site android.google.com at Google I.O. 2019. Google announced that Android development will be increasingly Kotlin first. And Google have stood by that commitment. Kotlin is an expressive and concise programming language that reduces common code errors and easily integrates into existing apps. If you're looking to build an Android app, Google recommends starting with Kotlin to take advantage of its best-in-class features. Okay, let's start building our first application with Kotlin. Run the Android Studio that already installed in our computer. If you do not have one yet, then download and install it. The download link is in the description of this video. Just click New Project. Select this empty activity. Is the template to create a simple project that we can use to build a Compose app. It has a single screen and displays the text Hello Android. Give a name to our application. The package name is an ID. Uniquely identifies your app on the device and in the Google Play Store. The minimum SDK is the minimum version of Android on which our app can run, it specifies the lowest Android API level that our app supports. Build configuration language. We should select Kotlin in this case as recommended choice. Click finish and wait until the setup completed. We can see a progress bar and message indicates whether Android Studio is still setting up our project. Okay, the setup is completed. We can see that there are some automatically generated functions. OnCreate function is the entry point to this Android app and calls other functions to build the user interface. The set content function within the OnCreate function is used to define our layout through composable functions. All functions marked with the at composable annotation can be called from the set content function or from other composable functions. The composable annotation tells the Kotlin compiler that this function is used by Jetpack Compose to generate the UI. We could not find XML layout in this code anymore, traditionally. XML layout has been the standard for designing user interfaces and Android applications. In this code we use Jetpack Compose which built around composable functions. These functions let us define our app SUI programmatically by describing how it should look and providing data dependencies, rather than focusing on the process of the UI's construction. The at preview annotation lets us preview our composable functions within Android Studio without having to build and install the app to an Android device or emulator. The annotation must be used on a composable function that does not take in parameters. So we can see here that we cannot preview the greeting function directly. Instead, make a second function named greeting preview, which calls greeting function with an appropriate parameter. To see the preview, click split here or click design. We need to successfully build before we can preview it. The build is not successful. There are three issues found which are related to API version. We can see from the message as we use Kotlin version 1.9.0 or later, so we have to use a newer compile SDK as suggested using at least 34. Let's fix it. Go to build Gradle file and then change build SDK to 34 also change target SDK to 34. Then click sync now. Looks good, we should be able to see the preview now. Now, let's try to see it on real Android phone.
Okay, it's installed successfully. Now, let's change the text color also make the text bigger and position it in center of the screen. In this case I will use color from the theme color scheme. The color is changed and the font size is larger now. Next, add column and put the text inside the column. We need to add modifier. A modifier is used to augment or decorate a composable. One modifier you can use is the padding modifier, which adds space around the element. You can download the source code at GitHub. The link info is at the end of this video. To expand your knowledge of Kotlin in Android app development, refer to the Android and Kotlin documentation.